Hey guys, welcome back to the Soul Lock between myself, Lightsaber SMGN, and my good friend Total Sumbro. We are on episode 26! Last episode! Well, I mean, technically 10 episodes ago now. We learned that uh, Cop Stash and Edge had hit the bin, and we did not know. So, ceremonial burial over. We are moving on and giving new carries a chance to shine, because you know we don't have the other option anymore. So, join us as we uh, figure that part out. So, last time we left off, we had been talking through favorite Pokemon mm -hmm. in Gens 1 through 3. So, we move on to Gen 4. And I know that you did not play this Gen very much. But I have so an answer. So, I'm curious what your opinion is. Yeah. Magmortar. Magmortar? Yes. Okay. Also, I want to change my answer from Generation 1. Okay. Right on. Right on. Right on is my okay, favorite okay. Pokemon from Gen One. Okay. So. I forgot about I forgot about poor Rhydon. <laughs> but yes, Magmortar because Magmar is sick. Yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I have a tough time with this gen because this gen. There's a lot of good ones. I I've I've talked about this before, but. Just going through everything that this gen has to offer, it's absurd. Ah, you still scare me. We're gonna do it. Will that be effective? It's dragon type. It's dragon water, so it's gonna be neutral. Ugh. There we go. Okay, we're fine. Um, so I have a problem, and we've already talked about this because there are so many Pokemon this gen that I just freaking love. Mm -hmm. What type of shield yeah, on? So fast, fast. Shield on is uh, rock steel. Blast bomb. C bomb will be neutral. Blast burn will be neutral. C bomb is better. a little bit higher of a Pokemon, but if I'm taking two taps anyway, these are a little bit higher level, so I'll get a little bit more bang, a little bit more bang for my buck here. Yeah, but that was Gunk Shot. That was a 120 power super effective attack, if it hits. Well, I will, uh, I will pay attention to that for next time. Okay. Who wants to murder them with Fire Punch? Set. I don't. Blast burn is really good, but I don't like that it leaves me open. Yeah. You're trading a special attack out, and I don't know how your special attack versus physical attack is. So. That's my only special going... attack. I need to leave it. Why is. Why does Skip Loom get such a banger perk set? Because you got freaking lucky on the skip loom. <sighs> there are literally so many of these! Okay, okay, Holly Rat. Gotten through the entire thing, and over half of them I'd be like, yeah, I could put this. Where are you leaning right now? Let's let's whittle it down. We'll work I'll help you work through it together. Give me, give me your top four. Hey, Lucario, Garchomp, Weavile. I mean, that's hard choice all around. And then I have so many good ones like Magnezone, Electivire, Toxicroak. You will be missed, Fruit. Okay, and here's something that I love about the uh, fourth gen. Mm -hmm. Fourth gen is the first generation that took the poison type and made you want to use it. Every other poison type that you wanted to use, you wanted to use because it was something else, like a grass type. Well, what about, um, 
What about, uh, buh, 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 buh. what about, um, uh, Crobat? Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't use Crobat because it was a poison type. I'd use it because it was flying. Okay, that's fair. It's like Toxicroak. No, okay, I will backstep a little bit. Crobat is an exception. It was really good. But it was one. As and opposed to how, ma how many? Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, so, as opposed I'm to Roselia turned to Roserade. Finally looks cool. Then we have Well, Roselia Skuntank. was primary grass type, wasn't she? It was. But the design wasn't that cool. It was... Unique, but it wasn't that cool. No, I'm, I'm Skun tank. Skun tank. Freaking amazing design. Even if you don't use it that much. Uh, Drapion. Toxicroak. Let's see if I can find... If there were any others. That's also something that I find interesting, is... The Sinnoh Pokedex. I guess they all kind of introduced between 100 and 120. Except for Unova, which introduced the full 150. Okay. Ooh. I was pretty sure that was gonna one bang. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of time once we get done recording today. I'm gonna organize the um the old videos folder, because with as as much content as we've been recording, it's starting to get out of hand. Yeah. When I had like 20 videos in there, it didn't matter. <laughs> I, I can't tell what's what now. Fair, fair. Um, I forgot to get new, new Hydro Pump, so... Did it only hit you for that much? It didn't hit. Oh. I'm probably okay, but that's a psychic. Oh yeah, Dittos aren't automatically going to only know Transform. <laughs> okay. I really hope Marth learns Something. a fire attack that's not Sacred Fire. Why not Sacred Fire? Don't you already have Sacred Fire? Fire. Uh, five power points is why I don't want Sacred Fire anymore. Speaking of the Reggies. Yeah. I had them on an earlier area. The, um... Seed Bomb is going to be good against that, isn't it? Yep. It has a super high defense, so it's not going to take a ton of damage, but it's going to take the most damage from that compared to everything else. Oh, wow. Please don't have a Fire-type move. Special Rend? Special Rend. It's a Psychic-type attack. Yeah. Which is Special Attack should be kind of garbage, so... I need like one more C bomb to really get it. Metal burst. You're fine. I say you're fine. Oh. You don't have any super potions. You do not use a standard potion like that. I feel like lightsaber is what to a super would look like. Roasted. Ginger Joke made one, never made one until now. We're proud of you, Raph. You tried so hard. <sighs> okay, um, uh. well, if we're, if we're, okay, Rock Smash is probably the best, you know, that's, it's in the name. Cool. Yeah. It's just, that thing has super high defense. Seven years of knowing it, has it been that long? Oh my goodness. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to your feedback on tomorrow's LDP episode, uh, Wrath. Although, to be fair, you have the login credentials for the YouTube. You could just go in and watch it. Lol. Okay, I need to run. I, 
I need to run. Did you forget to go heal? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go. I'm very deep in the grass right now. Ah, uh, rule number one. If you're not going to a location, you are staying on the edge. Uh, yeah. I yeah. have thought a couple of times Ooh. about... I'm listening. Uh, I'm tense, but I'm listening. Yeah, but... No, you're good, because... I think I blanked. Oh, fuck, gee! Bruh! <laughs> At least I know I can outspeed it to run away. Until this thing throws out mock punch. Ooh, okay. Okay. Alright. Okay. So. Also Go no, go ahead. I was gonna jump us to fifth gen, but what were you gonna say first? I was gonna tell Rev he's gonna wanna check my YouTube channel um Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I got a, a new style of video coming. I wanna get his uh feedback on. Uh fifth gen. Let me skip ahead here. Um Okay, we're not counting. Okay. Okay, so we're into Sword and Shield at this point. No, this is black and white. Is it? Oh, I recognize a lot of these Pokemon from... You've got three gens before you hit Sword and Shield, my friend. Um... Let me see. Some of these are kind of cool, and other ones just kind of, like, aren't. I kind of agree. F fifth gen to me did not did not hit it like it could have, but I have a couple here. I'm gonna have an answer for you momentarily. Shout out to the Pokemon they just named Verizon. Um, I'm gonna say B sharp. Or no, I'm gonna say Dredgegon. Dredgegon? Okay. Dredgegon. Go with the dragon. I respect it. Yeah, we gotta. What's so, yours? I'm gonna give some honorable mentions. Lipard is actually a really cool design. Same thing out to Blitzel Zebstrika. Uh, Gigalith was also up there. Throw and Sock actually gave the Hitmons a run for their money. As far as design and just cool factor. But I'm going to say that my favorite from Gen 5 was Krupida. I'm trying to find it so I can actually see it. Crocodile, uh, what number is it? Crocodile, that is number. Oh, Axu to Hack Source is Oh, also I see it. Cool. I see Crocodile. Okay, I can get with that. I can get with that. Um, honorable mention for that one? Uh, yeah. Galvantula was kind of cool, although yes. I'm usually not super big on Bug and Haxorus. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Haxorus I gave the honorable mention to. Bug Pokemon just seem so uh, hit or miss. By hit or miss, you mean hit if their name is uh, Scizor and... Basically miss with everything else. No, 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 no. Heracross okay. is also a hit. And 
I'm going to personally say that Ninjask and uh, Butterfree are on that list as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I like Butterfree. I will say Beautifly, while a cool design, feels too similar to Butterfree for me. And uh, Dustox just never, never did it. Yeah, no, that's fair. So... Enjoying that wild Latios over there? Uh, not really. It's kind of made of... B. That, that is scary. I mean, I should still be able to outspeed it. You should. Nope. Why are you so fast? That's dangerous. Okay. It didn't crit. Good. It's like, that's a high crit move from something that just raises its attack base. <laughs> I like to live dangerously. You do not. <laughs> Gen 6 is grass Pokemon's kind of cool. Uh, the fi okay, the fire type from Gen 6 is definitely the worst. For the starters. What was it, the fox? Yeah. I don't know, I kind of enjoyed it. But we all know the water starter is the best. Greenwich. Yeah. Um, this one has some pretty good ones too. They definitely they definitely did a better job with six. There's a lot more Pokemon that I'm like, alright. Six does not have like as many Pokemon as some of the other gens. It's got 120. On par with Johto and Hoenn. Johto, yeah. Hoenn, Sinnoh, actually. Johto's only 100 Pokemon added. Hoenn, Sinnoh were about 120. And then Unova was 150. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to go honestly, with Pyroar Gen for Gen 6. Yeah, I, I can respect that. Gen 6, okay. If you played for the story, which I know a lot of people didn't, but I know you did. Gen 6 had the best handheld story to come out of the Pokemon series. Now, what makes you think that? Like, where, where's that? What's that? What's basing that opinion? That opinion is based off of how the team that you're facing interacts with you. How like the, the, the antagonists? Yeah. Okay. That is based off of, like, how they guide the, the story and weave it through the gyms rather than just having it happen one chunk here one chunk here congrats you're done go do the actual thing of pokemon games and beat the elite four and it's also just it might just be a personal opinion it's also been a little bit since i've played but i know as i played through it the overwhelming feeling was this story is actually decent compared to like both of us were praising third gen earlier Mm -hmm. Third gen did a lot of things great, but the story wasn't one of them. No, the Mr. story. The, Fire. Yeah, the, the story is pretty flat, but they, they make up for it, I would say, with map design and yeah, Pokemon absolutely. design. Absolutely. Like that. Like no, third gen had a ton of things going for it, but the story was not it. Yes. Gen 6 had the story, as well as the Pokemon design. And really, like you were saying, um,. Even like Bunnelby to Diggersby, Talonflame was that's so what, that's cool. That's what I was going like Pangaro. That's a sick looking Pokemon. Mm -hmm. You've got, I like that they have Hone Edge, Double Blade, and a Geoslash, which definitely, uh, like slash, I, yeah. I feel like it potentially influenced maybe. Sword um, Shield? Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, Marbacle is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Dragalge? Is, is pretty cool. Clotzer, pretty cool. Heliolisk. Tyrantium. Um. Let me see. Oh, this is the gen where they had the Klefki. That's such a goofy looking yes. Pokemon. Uh, Trevenant. Yep. And then, like, the from the Legendaries, the, um, the Volcanion looks really, really cool. Mm -hmm. And so does Yvette. Agreed. Now, I'm going to warn you, we crossed into 7th gen. I played a little bit of Sun and Moon, and 
then stops. I've I've not you... played Sun and Moon. Okay. Uh, Sun and Moon so are on the Switch, kind... aren't they? Sun and Moon are on, on the Switch. What? Are Sun and Moon on the Switch? Yes. No. Wait, are they? Is it yes, Switch or DS? The Switch. The... Uh. No, it's DS. It's DS. Because I didn't. I I I don't think I did. I don't think I played them. I'm familiar with some of them, and I'm looking back through the list, but I don't think I played them as much because I didn't have a DS to play them on. Right. It'd be interesting to go back. Slazzle. Never have I more felt like a Pokemon was, like, coming on to me than seeing Slazzle's character design. I don't- it's un it makes me uncomfortable. What number is that? Uh, 758. Ooh! Galissapod. Oh, Absolutely sick Pokemon. Um... Komo-o. It's a sick Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll agree with that one. So Galio, dope. Lunella, dope. Buzz, oh, we've definitely they... gotten away from this is favorite. I'm, I'm, I'm. Well, I'm looking through. I don't. I haven't experienced a fair amount of these, so I'm. I, I will yeah. give. I will give an answer. Ooh. Oh, that's just SG enough for me. Necrozma. Is Necrozma a legendary? I can't I don't tell, think so. But it has multi forms. Does it? Which form are you looking at? I uh, I would assume the base. Arms down with like huge crystals coming out of the big hands. Oh. What? What caused Because it? Dawn Wings Necrozma kind of works. I like the Dusk Mane. Dusk Mane does look good. I'm it looks go like oh, it looks like a bulked up evolution. But I almost guarantee that this is a It looks like a Zoid. Like I I can't help but see a Zoid when I'm looking at it. I can see that, yeah. Okay. What's your uh, what's your favorite from 7th? I mean, we're looking through these for the first time right here. Yeah, that's fair. So. It'd be interesting to go back and play those. They probably... I'd, I'd be down to make that our next run, is playing through something that we have, like Sun and Moon. I wonder how hard that would be to arrange. I'm pretty sure we could arrange that. I mean, same stuff. Like, I own the cartridge. I just lost it. Uh, do you own sun? sun? Do you own sun or moon? Uh, sun. Sun, then I'd buy moon. That's fine. Okay, and you're getting ready to see Gen 8. Now, have you seen any of Gen, Gen 8? Very, very, very little. Okay. So I've played okay. a fair so the grass type turns into a drummer. Interesting. Yeah, this firefighting just doesn't do it to me. Actually, no, oh, it's straight you, fire. It's not firefighting. Oh, there's so, no fighting in there. Oh, I thought I I made the assumption I was. Oh, so you you see what I'm talking about though? Yeah. This is dangerous. Okay, I can't say too much for the water type starter either. The grass starter looks the best. By the way, I don't have a timer going for this one. I'm watching. Okay. I'm watching. Um, okay. So, oh, grass is easily the best. Yeah. The, um, so the one thing that's cool is they gave them, oh. Okay, I can get behind their uh, starting flying Pokemon. 
their starter flying Pokemon? Not starter. Oh, 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 oh. like Rookity? Like to Corviknight? Rookity going all the way to Corviknight. Corviknight looks sick. Alright, I need to focus up for a second. Um, this Dragonite survived with just slightly more health than it should have. kind of looks cool. Um, so Corviknight's sick. Um, I really like, uh, Colossal. Uh, I really liked, um, oh, Graplocked is sick. I'm, I'm gonna say Graplocked is my favorite so far from that gen. Okay. Dreadnought looks kind of cool. Nope, no, 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 I change. Surfetched. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Boltund looks like I love that character. That they did. A, they fantastic. did a really good job with the Pokemon from. So also Yamper, adorable. Which one is Yamper? Boltund. Boltund's the evolution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boltund yeah. is the evolution yeah, of Yamper. Yeah. Like when you first meet Yam, it's like that's a corgi. That's a corgi. <laughs> yeah, I love Bolton's design. Holy crap. Okay. And then I could I, get Appleton, Colossal, Appleton's a fun but... Pokemon. Grass Dragon. Applin. It's an apple pie dragon. Yeah, I see that. It's so goofy. You've either got Flapple or Appleton. And then Sandaconda is pretty cool. Um, uh, that is, one is not. Is Toxtricity the first electric poison that we've seen? Yes, that I do remember. That's sick. It's a super sick design too. And then I'm gonna. Mm, now I'm gonna stay with Surfetched. Surfetched is cool. Oh, and they had weird Pokemon in that one, too. They had some weird Pokemon. And, um... And Bramorant I... is weird. So, I'm looking at Dracozolt, Arctozolt, and Dracovish, and Arctovish. Uh-huh. Or... No, 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 no. Mm. Yeah, no, okay, so Dracozolt, Arctozolt, Dracovish, and Arctovish. Though, mm -hmm. those Pokemon exist because literally the the person who... You run into someone, like, at the fossil area, and they're like, Hey, yeah, we don't know how these fossils go together. Can you cram them together? And those Pokemon are born of you just jamming fossils together randomly. That's why they look so odd. Like, that's why okay. the, you Lenta know what Scorch. I mean? Scent of Scorch actually looks really cool. The fire bug? Yeah. And then, so, the, um, the, like, did you, have you seen the Gigantamaxes? I'm looking at them a little bit, but I'm not paying too yeah. much attention to them. Yeah, so, not every Pokemon has a Gigantamax, yeah. um, yeah, not every not every Pokemon has a Gigantamax. No, okay, all of them have a Dynamax. Some Pokemon just get bigger, but some Pokemon right. will actually change. Like like Snorlax actually becomes a planet with an island on his belly. Okay. Um, Grimmsnarl does look really cool. Grimmsnarl does look really cool. 
Well, and they they also they they made um, fairy type Pokemon are actually good. Oh yeah, no, I've known that for a fact. Yeah, fairy fairy Pokemon. So like... wait, Obstagoon is a special type of Zigzagoon goes to a special type of Lion, which goes to Obstagoon. I'm looking for it. Because Obstagoon looks pretty cool. Yeah. You need a Moonstone, I think. Oh, level, you need it level 35 at night to get the Obstagoon. Wait, is it a special Zigzagoon? What it looks like. Oh, it's the Galarian. So the Galar specifically a Galarian, um, God. a Galarian linen, level thirty-five at night. And then Galarian Farfetch'd. If you get three crits in one battle, you evolve to Surfetch'd. Yep, it's that's kind funny. It's kind of tricky to get, like to get the mm. three crit. You have there's an item that you can get that will raise your critical hit chance. Uh, right. And you really you really have to lean on that. And speaking on leaning of that, I think we need to lean our way on out of this episode. That was... <laughs> you were digging, <laughs> sir, but you need a better shovel. <laughs> Guys, with that, we are going to wrap episode 26. Let us know. Um, like, please take part in this conversation. What are your favorite Pokemon from each gen? Tell us. Tell us. Let us know and why. And, you know, we'd love to talk and, to you guys in more, the comments. And more than that, Sumbro and I are just completely uneducated on Gen 7 and 8. So you tell us. Not, what is the best I've Pokemon played 8. Gen? I okay, have bought okay. both I'm DLCs for 8. Like I am, 7 at least. Yeah, so 7, I am, I am pretty ignorant on 7. I would look forward to playing 7. So y'all tell us. Sun and Moon. Like, what is the best Pokemon and why? That's a super good point. That's a super good point. Guys, thank you so much, and we will see you back here on our next episode. What are we going to get into? Who knows? Anything could happen. We've had a couple close calls. We haven't lost anyone yet. We are, Slow and Steady is going to win We're the race for this, on time. this one. We are paying attention to what's going on. Guys, thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.